Chairwoman Khan. Khan! <laughs> this woman in the background like, oh, what's going on? I have no idea, but I'm just sitting here looking really pretty. So if you don't know, the FTC lost their case against Microsoft last week, trying to block their merger with Activision Blizzard. But of course, the reason why they lost was because their chairwoman, yeah, chairwoman is Lena Khan. And just hear this bit of gritting from her from the House Judiciary Committee from the 13th of July, which was obviously just a few days ago. This is absolutely uh, hilarious. Determinations but, but are you bringing cases deal? that you expect to lose? <laughs> are you bringing cases that you expect to lose? Absolutely not. Okay, well, your track record seems to suggest otherwise. Let's look more closely at the act as a precedent. So you cited to your own FTC decision uh, as precedent. But irrespective of the legal standard, uh, the court, you probably wouldn't have won under any standard because the court said this, <laughs> that the FTC has not raised serious questions regarding whether the pro proposed merger is likely to substantially lessen competition. Not raised serious questions. The court also rejected your assert, not only rejected your assertion of a likely anti-competitive effect, but found just the oppo opposite, that the record evidence points to more consumer access. So why should Americans have faith in your judgment when this Biden appointed judge says you are so far off the mark. And I'll get to this Biden appointed judge in a minute, actually. A little bit of controversy where that judge is concerned because her son works for Microsoft and some people believe that she might have been influenced by that prospect uh, rather than looking at the overall picture. But I don't believe that, actually. I think the judge in question um, had the right intentions. Congressman, this matter is still pending before the FTC. No, it's not. Adjudication, so I'm just going to be limited in what I can say about the merits. Uh, our complaint lays out. Uh, this poor chick right here. She looks like she wants to fall asleep. And who can blame her? Uh, the staff's view of the, what this merger would result in and why that would be a law violation. Uh, you might but the judge that. roundly rejected it and said there weren't even serious questions. And now having <laughs> lost, you're spending even more taxpayer money on an appeal that you're even less likely to win because the appeals court is going to defer to the trial court's findings of fact in this very fact-intensive matter. So why are you spending even more taxpayer resources pursuing I like Mr. Kiley. This guy is good. At least he's done his prep and research. In this appeal. So I can say again, this was a you know, staff recommendation. I can say it a general matter. Uh, staff always looks closely at an opinion and looks at whether there are certain errors in law that they believe are worth Oh, God. On. I tell you what, Judge Khan, sorry, I keep calling her Judge. Chair, Chairwoman Khan clearly didn't go into this trial with any preparation whatsoever. So if you want to know, this is Judge Jacqueline Scott Corley, who's the Biden appointed judge. Hey, not a bad looking chick for her age, is she? I wouldn't mess with her with those glasses and her font of knowledge. But this is what she actually said. This was her statement. So Microsoft's acquisition of Activision has been described as the largest in tech history. It deserves scrutiny. That scrutiny has paid off. Microsoft has committed in writing in public and in court to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation for 10 years on parity with Xbox, meaning they're both going to be played on either of those platforms. Um, it made an agreement with Nintendo to bring Call of Duty to Switch, and it entered several agreements uh, to, for the first time, to bring Activision's content to several cloud gaming services. This court's responsibility in this case is narrow. It is to decide if, notwithstanding these current circumstances, the merger should be halted, perhaps even terminated, pending resolution of the FTC administrative action. For the reasons explained, the court finds the FTC has not shown a likelihood it will prevail on its claim this particular vertical merger in the specific industry may substantially lessen competition. To the contrary, the record evidence points to more consumer access to Call of Duty and other Activision content. The motion, the motion for a preliminary, preliminary injunction, injunction is therefore, is therefore denied. denied. 
So, Lena Khan, up yours. Maybe go back to tackling more virulent issues like grocery and healthcare in America rather than video gaming, which quite clearly, my dear, you know nothing about. And Chairman Cardi right here, give this dude a pay rise. So if you enjoyed this little fun-filled Mickey taking video today, folks, leave a comment below, smash that like button. And if I were you, and if you were me, you better come back for the next video. In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. Duke Nukem approves this guy.